everybody, Amy White with Worthy Written Words, and today we're going to be in our Old Testament in Exodus chapter 4, and we're going to be first using some washi tape that we call junk washi tape. We don't really plan to use it, and we're just okay to, to throw it away. So we're going to cover up the words, just an outline of them, so that we can protect them from getting paint on them. If you are really concerned, you can cover up the entire section of words to protect it from any paint getting on them. And I also have a piece of scrap paper underneath my page and a piece of scrap paper on the page next to mine to help prevent even more from paint getting where I don't want it to go. Then after we're done with that, we're gonna take our paints and I take the purple and add some white to it to kind of make it a lighter purple instead of the bright purple that is in your kit. So after I get it to a shade that I like, I am covering the entire page besides the words with a coat of purple paint. I'm actually using a really small paintbrush. You could do this much faster with a larger paintbrush. And once this is dry, I'm going to add another coat so that you can't see any of the footnotes and it's just a, a nice clean cover of purple paint. Once this is done, you can dry it with a heat it tool. It's like a blow dryer, but for craft paints, and it will make it dry much quicker. If you don't have one of these, it's not necessary. You can let it air dry, and acrylic paint usually dries pretty quickly. Now we're going to be using the baby wipe that's in your kit, and I'm going to wrap it around my finger and tuck the rest of it inside of my palm of my hand so that it isn't dragging and I'm going to dip it into the turquoise and I'm going to rub the turquoise on top of the purple in very random places and I'm making sure to keep my strokes up and down at all times I'm not going side to side so I'm doing a big long strip of it right here and then I'm going to add some more at the top and some at the bottom and just kind of a spotted effect I'm going to dry these with my heat it tool and then add another coat on top just to give it a more solid look. You can again air dry it or use a heat it tool as well to help it dry faster. When those layers are nice and dry, I'm gonna go over it with some white. And this is very thin, and so I'm going to do multiple coats again with the white. There's a lot of freedom with this. You can do it completely different from mine, but here I'm mixing some more light purple. 
to put in more various places. And the cool thing with acrylic paint is if you put something anywhere and you don't like it, you can always just paint right on top of it with another layer once it's dry. So I'm just kind of playing around with this. I don't really have any sort of plan in place. And most of this is going to get covered up with words anyways. So it doesn't need to be perfection. So play around with different colors. Um, and again, try not to drag your baby wipe around on the page so it doesn't drag anything wet around unnecessarily. Be with me, Jesus, I ask you to stay. Comfort my worries through the night until day. In the darkness, Lord Jesus, I am the devil's prey. So I beg of you, please just stay stay in the morning now we can take off the washi tape if you are peeling this off and it starts to rip your page underneath then stop peeling and take it off from the other side now i'm going to be using a flat paintbrush with some white paint on it to work on fixing up anything that went underneath the washi tape to just clean up any of those issues now using more white paint and the paintbrush, I'm going to create three circles. They do not need to be perfect circles. They're just three ovally, whatever hand-drawn circles. Don't get too caught up in perfection here. And we're gonna do two coats of them. Now we're going to take our traceable and we're going to line it up so that the part that says that saved my soul, the long part, is underneath the words. So it's in, in the footer of your page and then the rest are on the side margin. And once you have it where you want it, then I'm going to bend it underneath so that it is easy to place along the side of the margin without it going everywhere. And then I'm going to put it in place with a piece of washi tape that will hold it where I want it to go. And you can make sure it's down enough by using these somebody stickers. The, those need to be able to fit underneath the words as well. So you can kind of figure out by spacing where it needs to go in your footnotes. Next, I'm going to take the graphite paper and I'm going to put it so that the shiny side of the graphite paper is on my page so the dull side is facing up towards me and I'm going to slip that underneath this traceable and don't fold it underneath the back side because it will uh, transfer your message all the way through to the other side so we want it big anyways because it needs to cover all of the words and then we're going to trace everything that we want with a regular ballpoint pen or it could even be a pencil we're going to just go over it it doesn't have to be super hard and it's going to transfer what we're writing onto our page with the graphite. Now we're going to take all of this off of our page and we're going to take our stickers and we're going to line up our stickers in between these words. A little hack that you can do is take the stickers off and put them at the top of the sticker page like I'm doing here so you can control the spacing before you put them on your page. So I'm lining them up right above where they, where they are on the sticker sheet. And then when you go to place them down, you put your finger over the majority of the sticker and just release the paper underneath so that it is all on your page exactly where you want it to go. Now using our black glaze pen from our kit, we are going to trace over these words that we traced with the graphite paper. Now start with the circles first because it's a, it's a new pen so it's going to flow very heavily and I would even practice using this pen on a piece of scrap paper if you're not used to using these before. These are little words and it's going to be really tight so you want to be very careful when going over these words. Just take it nice and slow and if it smudges or anything you can try and uh, 
worst case scenario, you can paint over it with your acrylic paint if you have to do it again. So I give you this caution just because it's really easy to uh, just make a huge mess with this pen. But when it's not brand new and it's uh, easier to use, it is my favorite pen of all time and I use it in tons of my layouts. Now we're going to repeat this process with these little accents from your traceable. So I ripped them off and I'm putting them where I want them in the footnote so that they're not overlapping the words. And I'm going to go ahead and trace them using a pen in the graphite paper. Now you should make sure that you do this after your pen that you just did is nice and dry because this would be a prime place to be smudging what you've already done. And then after you're done tracing it, once again, you can fill that in with your glaze pen. Once this is all nice and fully dry, I go over all of the tracings with a, an eraser. And you don't want to use like a red pencil eraser because that will just leave red streaks on your page. So you want to use like a, a an eraser that's made for art projects. And you can get these at the craft store. They're like a dollar. And what it's going to do is it's going to erase any of the graphite paper, the, the markings from the graphite paper that are sticking out from what you have traced on top of. So it just cleans it up really nice. After everything has been tra uh, erased, you may need to go back over with your glaze pen a few sections because the eraser can pick up the, the pen markings as well. So you can clean that up. So here you can see that I did smudge my pen, I'm sure many of you will, and I am just gonna go right over that with the acrylic paint that's still not dry yet, and let that dry and put another coat on that and cover that up and just clean it up that way. That's the best thing about acrylic paints, so you can just paint right on top of your mistakes. Now using the white and the black paints, I'm going to add white and black circles all over the background. Some are gonna be circular circles and others are gonna be more like dashes. And so by mixing it up, it gives it a fun look that's different. So first I'm gonna do all of them in white and then I'll wash my paintbrush and do them in black. And my Lord, try as I may. I still need your mercy, I still need your grace, so if you don't mind, sweet Jesus, what do you say? Will you be with me always to my dying day? Will you be with me always? To my dying day. Now I'm using a highlighter. It's a blue one. It's my mild liner highlighter that I got from Amazon. You can use any marker, any colored pencil. If you're worried about it bleeding through, you could put some clear gesso on the page before you highlight it, but these are pretty thick pages, so I never have to do it with these highlighters. And I'm gonna actually do one verse blue, one verse purple, and the last verse blue. The last few steps is setting up the stickers on the top of your margin and then writing he qualifies the call on your tab with your glaze pen and attaching that just using any sort of double-sided sticky tape. 
and that goes on top of your grid washi tape. And that's it. We're done with this layout. Thanks for doing this with me, guys. See you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.